Ladies and gentlemen, Tactical Vance here, and welcome to a, a ship review today. Now, 2.5 has gone live to the PTU, and the Argo is available to take a look at, and also it's flyable as well. There seems to be a couple of variants. There's this one and another one with um, sort of like a dropship module in. Maybe I'll show that in the uh, flight test so we can see both sides. But today, we're looking at this transport ship. It's a small utility ship, you could call it. On first observation, when I saw it, guys, I thought it looked like a road sweeper or a bin lorry. <laughs> I don't know what you guys think. Maybe it's because of the color scheme. I don't know. Fair play. It's well polished. Works very well. Couldn't find any bugs with it. It seems quite stable and solid. But at the same time, it's only a small ship, but it's got some super cool features. So let's take a quick pan round first of all. Now it's got these sort of legs that sort of straighten out as you're flying. You can see they fold up and so on. There's side doors for the rear pod, you can call it. You've got obviously the pilot seat here, and there's a rear door as well. Now these little sort of, this pod bit can be swapped out. Now to get in the back, there's a little button here you press there we go back door opens not a massive amount of space here but it's versatile little ship and i'll tell you what i did really like about it is not necessarily the back door is these side doors guys a lot of the problems we have with these small ships in fact all the ships are the ability to exit the ship quickly Particularly if you want to drop some people off really fast. I mean, if you wanted to drop some people off really fast there. Okay, that's pretty fast, I suppose. It's not the end of the world, is it? But these side doors are pretty uh, pretty serious. I mean, it wouldn't take you long to get out of that, would it? And you could be exiting from both sides as well. The other one, like I said, has got little seats here. Like so I think it's got three or four seats each side. So you could just fly out the doors. And it just makes it a lot quicker and also closing the doors as well. So it just makes that whole process of boarding and unboarding a lot faster rather than going through a very, very long animation. I know they are bringing in new animations to eliminate some of the, you know, getting into the ship and getting out slow, but it still won't affect the door animation to some instance. It obviously speed up getting in. You can see the magnetic plates on the floor for the uh, cargo, some nets there. I like what they've done with this button. They've actually added a button now. Before, it was that little blue blob. Oh, we've just got to get rid of this use thing now. would be nice. Uh, I like the fact there's buttons there. I did actually notice some others. There's actually a seat here. I think we can actually sit in this. Oh, we can. Oh, there we are. Took a second. Bit of a delay there. Can't, I don't know if I can actually look up. I can't look up for some reason. There's actually a door there as well. I didn't realise that. So, let's take a look outside. What these number pads are for? Maybe that's something coming later. Out we get. Close the door. I didn't notice these. I was walking around and I sort of just clipped. I think it was this bit here, actually. Was it around here? Oh, this bit here, look. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, you thought the same thing as me. The hell's that for? Is that, oh, is that a battery sign? Might have to check. It's on both sides. It's on here as well. I was just walking past and the animation come up. I don't know if I'm too keen on the colour scheme. I probably would change it out if it was me and go for something a little bit darker. I suppose if, you, if you're using it in UE space and a safe area, it doesn't really matter, does it, I suppose? And then finally, coming around the front, you can see it's quite a sort of a robust design. You, you sort of get the impression that you can bump into things with this and maybe not absorb a lot of damage. It seems like a bit of a transit van, pretty, you know, with ball bars on the front. Let's get around this side. It's got gold wing doors as well, it's pretty cool. Hop in. Pretty fast animation there as well, getting in and out. And then inside, viewing angles are good enough. I mean, it's no fighter by any means. The detail up there on these switches look pretty cool, I did notice. Wires overhead there. High voltage coming out there, great. You can see some little displays there. Now you can actually fly this at the moment. I'm not going to be doing it today. I'm going to arrange a uh, flight test that will be coming later on. It's a nice detail here. Well put together. 
pop out. So let's take a look around on... Oh, actually, that's what I was going to have. A, one thing I did notice on this, I think a lot of other, the other ships are missing, is the lights, guys. I know it's quite a simple thing, but a lot of the other ships don't have lights, or if they do, they don't seem very effective. And looking at these ones, these look pretty cool. It might make a good little medical ship, you know, as well, wouldn't it? Because it just seems that sort of... Like an ambulance size, really ideal. This make a really good, like, ambulance. And I like the fact it's got a lot of lighting as well. Look around the sides there while we're here. All looks pretty cool. And the fact that you can change these out and it's quite modular. But for me, what sells it are the doors, guys. I just really like the, the quick access to the doors. I'm really pleased that they put these side doors on and just didn't leave this. It makes it makes a big difference. Because really, you, you're only open that to load the cargo in. I suppose once the cargo's here, the person's sitting here anyway can't get past this area anyway i'm assuming because the car goes there so they would have to go out the side door so it makes total sense and we saw this in the could call it partial squadron 42 trailer we saw a little while ago with him getting inside the ship so what do i think in the ship i think it's a really really cool cute little ship guys <laughs> it's something where you can do small cargo runs there's, there's a little drop ship module and there's a couple of others as well it looks well polished in game as you can see here. it does look very very finished a very very high quality but saying that it's only a small ship so it's well put well together guys i think that if you're looking for a really small ship i'd like, maybe like to see an ambulance one it'd be pretty cool i'll have to keep an eye out for that so the next plan is to do a flight test guys and see how this flies and what the maneuverability is like i did give it a quick go actually and i found that super super maneuverability i mean i know this is the first release of it but i was really impressed flying around in it i thought this is really really cool what's the plan for the rest of the 2.5 content it will follow shortly guys my plan is is to work on the content that is sort of less buggy at the moment and this is uh definitely the the part that is has less bugs at the moment and then what i'll probably do is i will try a flight test all being that that's quite stable then i'll start moving on to grim x and the rest of their content so ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe bye now